Welcome. Thank you to be here today on the 7th of September as we are looking forward to the new vibrations and energies and the upgrades that are coming with that. Yes, it's getting interesting, really, really interesting. And yes, astrology has a lot to do with this energy that we are experiencing. Since the 1st of September, we have gone obviously or Pluto has gone into Capricorn in its last phase, phase. And this phase is what they call the 29th degree. And the 29th degree is actually the phase of death. So it is a really, really interesting time. And this week, I feel our focus is really on trusting in this natural flow, in this natural cycles, in these natural signs of evolution and let go of our resistance. There are a lot of outdated systems and of course Capricorn is such a beautiful reflection of outdated systems that are related to the physical, to the body. And it doesn't mean that we don't have boundaries, but it also doesn't mean we need all these protections to save ourselves. Because as we're protecting, we're also not letting in what is coming. So this week, I'm really inviting you into trusting in letting go. It is time to embody both the seen and the unseen, the known and the unknown. And so we are letting go of that fear, of that resistance, of these expectations that we have of self, but also of the collective, also of the cosmos. Nothing is happening bad to us. It is just the natural cycles that we have actually chosen. We came here for that. And it's a good time to go truly within. It's another level of shadow work, inner work, whatever name you want to put to it, and seeing it through the lenses of the heart. And what does the heart mean here? It's not only the connection and the compass to all, but it is also the part of the physical experience that gives us an opportunity to let the light in. So here I want to also bring through again that definition of ascension. It essentially means that we can let the light that is coming through the new cycles, we can let it in and with that light, and it starts with the heart because the mind and the ego cannot really conceive that. It's the heart that has that space for that light of ascension. It's the heart that plays a key role in this evolutionary leap into homo luminous, homo sapiens, mind-based. Beautiful, we have beautiful experiences and this is also a lot of this death that we're having now in Pluto, in Capricorn, in the 29th degree of death. But it's not the end of the story. So please bear with me because we're living in cycles. And so as we are changing now from the mind that is based in fear and locked into survival, scarcity, suffering, into the heart and an operating system heart that allows the higher vibration and the light to come into this body. And this is how we are called then homo luminous. And this week, I really would like you to prepare. We have until the 19th of November, but please, this is a good week to prepare the letting go to be conscious of what we want to let go, what no longer serves. And what is, not, is it that no longer serves? Any systems, any rules and regulations that bring harm or disconnection. It's as simple as that, there's only two. So what is it then we are letting go. We are letting go of all that harms and disconnects self, society, the collective, 
Yes, we play a role in this. Not to complain, not to criticize, not to stay in duality, but truly, truly evolve. But also for the cosmos, we're not separated from anything. And nature. Nature is what you're hearing outside. Nature is our nature. The plants and the animals and the earth. You and I are part of nature in this human experience that our soul has chosen to incarnate into at this time. So this is a very important time this week to let go. Expectations, even old values, outdated systems, values that no longer serve, that are based in fear, survival, scarcity. So what are you going to do with that beautiful opportunity? And so the last breath, and I heard that from someone else, but I really love it. So I'm taking it in here. We are going towards the last breath of Pluto in Capricorn. But the new breath on the 19th of November is going into Aquarius, the higher mind. I use mind, yes, the higher mind, the air. But the air is also music. The air is also the new codes, the new opportunities, the sound. And so I'm inviting you to enjoy that phase, especially this week. There's more coming, of course, next week for us to explore. Enjoy to prepare for letting go. What are you letting go? What doesn't serve any longer? Expectations, values, systems, survival, fear. Figure it out and prepare to let go one by one. Death is not the final stage, it's the beginning of a rebirth. And we have chosen to be here to rebirth at this time. We have chosen to be here at Ascension to fill this physical body with so much light that we can evolve into Homo Luminous, that we can start weaving and co-creating new earth that we know from Dolores Cannon for a very long time, that we know from Eckhart Tolle and many, many others. We are here a bridge to new earth. So all of this is really, really crucial, vital, important. Where are you? What are you preparing to let go this week? This is the beautiful energy that is given to us as Pluto goes one more time in retrograde. And Pluto has a big cycle of 200 something years and it will be in Aquarius for a long time, 40 years or more. So if you want more information about that, there are astrologers to share that with you. But what is important that we understand to be in this death phase and enjoying it. It's a letting go. It's a breaking free of these old codes that held us and to receive the new codes and to create new codes and keys to unlock our true potential. So what is it I give you today as a bridge with light language? I am actually giving you a key to break the old, a code, if you want to call it that way. Let it see. Let's see how it feels for you. The last piece I want to bring in before I bring the light language through is the opposite of Capricorn is Cancer. And cancer is the emotional world. It's, it's the waters. It's not being emotional. It is understanding how to navigate and swim in the worlds of emotions. And one cannot live with out this opposites, the mind and the body and the emotions. How do you feel? So let's see what comes through from the mystic heart and the boundless vibrations and energies of the divine. To bring us these codes and keys 
to prepare to break whatever is holding us at this time this week so prepare with me today for a moment as I am tuning in just focus on your breath close your eyes as I am connecting to these guides that are carrying us through this time of death, of beautiful dying, to let go and to set free. Bring your attention into the heart where you can receive these new codes and keys of light to step out of the discomfort and illusion and into your pure potential and the new codes that allow you to die and to rebirth. Tora me, tora me, tora me. Tora me, tora me, tora me, receiving these new codes and these keys of light so that you can set free and let go into this amazing time into this new earth into this evolution of self awakening I love it if you like the channel I really appreciate this more people coming here and I love your comments and I love to serve this ascension, this collective and conscious awakening. And check out what we're doing as we're currently receiving what online courses we're putting on for you to prepare and for you to enjoy our bridge to new earth. See you there. So much love from my heart.